Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News. I am Ruthie Naseje. Now, the police and the internal security organization, ISO, has pleaded over the authenticity of the audio recording, allegedly, of ex-police chief General Kale Kaihura speaking about the matter of the former police spokesperson, Andrew Felix Kawesi. The recording was reportedly submitted by ISO as part of evidence against Kaihura in the matter of Kawesi. ISO claims that the recording is key evidence proving that Kaihura was implicated in the matter, but the police are querying the authenticity of the recording. Following the, uh, following the disagreement, the police criminal investigations directorate has written to Macquarie University, which reportedly examined the voice to give details of its report on the audio recording. Sources said ISO had earlier submitted the audio recording to the National so Security Council during the meeting held in May before Kaihura was arrested. Sources say ISO claimed it had submitted the recording to Macquarie University for verification before submitting its report to the investigations team. Moving on, the police in Rengo district is holding Simeo Senchama, the Malongo LC3 chairperson, allegedly aiding the escape of a defilement suspect and assault. Senchama was on Tuesday arrested along the victim's father, Francis Tushabe of Rentabe B village in Malongo sub-county in Rengo district. Lameke Chigozi, the massacre regional police spokesperson, said the two crimes were committed separately. Say defilement defilement was committed in 2016 while assault on 3rd this month. He said that on 18th, uh, 18th August 2016, one Edson Chari Charisima defiled an 11-year-old girl and impregnated her. The girl's mother reported the matter to Malongo police and investigations were opened. However, St. Chama obstructed police's attempt to arrest Charisima creating room for his escape. But police opened a case of obstruction of justice against St. Chama. And in our sports news, prior to the Nigeria tour of Uganda, the U-19 cricket cranes had been employed in internationals since last year. Their last internationals were during the ICC Africa U-19 Division 1 World Cup qualifier in Kenya, where they painfully narrowly missed out on qualification. The boys are on course of moving on from the, from the debacle and the start of the recovery process is not bad. Nigeria is a team in transition from an average side of a better team and they are using a tour to prepare for the tournament in South Africa. Frank Akankwasa scored a half century of 86 from 74 balls as the hosts proved dominant in the 181 runs win over the traveling Nigerians on Wednesday at the Lugogo Ovo. Zefania Arinaitwe had opened for 31 from 29 balls in a free scoring inning, although Uganda were all out of 286. A courtesy of Nigeria's Simia Abolarin Hassan, who claimed four wickets. You're still watching New Vision TV and in our daily pal of Africa series, we look at how hiking can be best suited at the Mountain Elgon National Park. Now, Mountain Elgon National Park is found in Uganda at the eastern border near Kenya. The National Park covers, the, covers beneath the area of Mountain Elgon, which was formed after a volcanic eruption. Hiking, trekking, camping are some of the activities to catch up with while on Mountain Elgon National Park. Here's how you can embrace the activity of hiking at the park. Mountain Elgon National Park lies on the slopes of Mountain Elgon. This mountain is found in the eastern part of Uganda and is said to first erupted more than 24 million years ago. The Bagisu and the Sabine are the two ethnic tribes that occupy most parts across this mountain. Mountain Elko National Park harbors various animals and not forgetting plants that bring life to the slopes of Mountain Elgon. It supports a rich variety of altitudinal vegetation zones that range from lush Montana mixed bamboo belt to mission, but a few. 
The main tourist attraction here is hiking as hikers engage with the spectacular scenery striving to reach the mountain's highest peak known as Ogagai. The Elgon area has nine basic campsites to offer, located at strategic points along the trekking routes. While at the park, you cannot miss seeing the spectacular CP waterfalls and ancient Noma Stone Age cave paintings. As you head to CP, hiking is best experienced here. You cross various tea trains to get to the ever-flowing water. Hiking through the woods is extremely enjoyable. Beating the long grass and watching the birds fly from one tree to another is a thrilling experience. For more Pearl of Africa stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. Our newspaper, The Sun Division, is another home of adventures. So grab your copy every Sunday for Pearl of Africa stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates under the programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. I am Ruthie Naseje.